Are you down and do you want to go up, but it doesn't make sense to climb the rock to get there? Today we're going to talk about some rock climbing specific ways to ascend the rope. First, you'll need a rope going where you want to go. Second, um, you'll need to fix or anchor that rope. Um, there's four main ways to do that. The first, uh, a meat anchor, uh, one of your climbing partners, they can counterbalance you. Second way, uh, use uh, a ground anchor, uh, tie off to a tree, tie off to a big rock, make an anchor on the ground. Um, third, uh, you can be the anchor and you'll just tie into the other side of the rope like you would if you were climbing and ascend against your own weight. The fourth is to fix the rope at the top. Once your rope is fixed, you'll need a slippy, a grippy, some clippies, and some slicks. You're going to want a progress capture device. Uh, I prefer an assisted braking device like the Grigory. Uh, many types of belay device uh, will work. You could use uh, a tube style device such as the ATC Guide or the Reverso um, using their guide mode. That will capture progress as well, just not nearly as efficient. Uh, what's great about assisted braking devices like the Grigory is most of them have a release mode which will allow you to go down efficiently without having to change devices. Uh, then you want an ascender or a friction loop. Ascender, of course, is going to be way more efficient and easier to reset. If I were to go out and buy something, I'd get the Petzl Basic, um, which is the top half of this device, essentially. It's designed so you can grab the top, like this ascender, and that is quite a bit more comfortable even than the handled ascender. Of course, it's a lot smaller and lighter than this device. To connect everything together, you'll need some carabiners. Oval carabiners are super nice for ascenders. You can go through there and it doesn't get stuck or bound up. It's really nice to have some sort of step. Um, you can just use slings for that. And of course they make uh, atries, ladders, uh, foot tapes. Let's put it all together. So first load your assisted braking device uh, like you normally would. The, the climber side uh, going up to the anchor. The hand side that's what you're going to use your hand to pull slack through then put your sender up here i use an oval carabiner and i clip it through this eye it serves two purposes uh one it prevents the rope from coming out which in this situation is not critical because my life safety is the grigory um and two it gives me more length of pull uh, when I redirect this up here. What this does, it creates a mechanical advantage system. When I pull this, I'm applying more force than I could ever apply pulling this. Now we're ready to go up. So pull here, pull here, and we can start going up now. So as you can see, um, this is pretty intensive on our upper body. We can go up, but it's a lot of work. Just like in climbing, it's a lot easier when we can use our legs to push us up. Uh, we could add a foot loop here. Um, how long it is matters. Uh, figure out that based on your height, um, and it'll take a little bit of experimentation. Let's try it again. So, the pro trick is to kick down underneath your butt, not out here like this, and stand up. The great thing about this system is to go down is really easy. Um, if you're taking your hands off the rope, secure it so it can't slip through, not that that's likely. And now I'm ready to go down and I didn't have to switch any devices. Like anything in climbing, make sure you practice this and understand it in a safe environment before you ever have to use it. Uh, some consideration, is this the best and most efficient way to go up a rope? Absolutely not. Cavers, rope access, arborists all have more efficient methods, but they require a lot of different gear. I really like this method because it has gear that 
for the most part, except this, uh, climbers already have with them. I have been very humbled by the amount of engagement that these videos are getting. Thank you very much. I've been having a blast uh, um, talking with you guys in the comments. Uh, at this point, I'm trying to answer all the comments. Um, if you give me something to engage with. Thanks everyone so much. We'll see you next time.